Hey, how you doing? Uh, another video for you. I know I haven't, haven't, ma haven't made any in a few days, so starting back up with another one right now. Got some mate. Canarias, so it's a bit hard to pull on, but <laughs> you know, whatever. It's it's amazing. Que rico. Um. But that's not the focus of this video. I know I made a lot of mate videos recently. Um, there will be quite a few more, but I'm not going to try to make that the focus of my channel. Um, I'd like to have a more bigger variety of stuff on my channel to appeal to a larger audience, if you will. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, expect more mate videos. Um, I'm going to have some tea videos coming out soon. I got all these... Um, that's just a little sneak peek of some stuff that'll be reviewed soon. Some tea. It comes from Numi. Um, so that's your that's your little hint right there. Um, but today's video is about aluminum security wallets. What I like about them, what I don't like about them. Um, I have a couple different ones here. Um, I obviously dig them enough. Let me take my card out of there so you can't read it. Um, but I obviously dig them dig enough to have bought two of them. Um, here's the first one that I had. This is the original one, the Aluma wallet. You see right there, it says Aluma wallet. And uh, this one I used for a entire summer, and it ended up slowly falling apart on me. And that's my main pet peeve with these: is they're awesome wallets, and I love them, but. I've just started using this one a couple weeks ago, so we'll see how long this one holds up. I'll make an update if this brand works better. Um, I got it at Kohl's, I think. Now, the one thing is, uh, I, I didn't actually buy it at Kohl's. It was a gift. This one, I got it as a Christmas present, actually, from a friend. Because um, I don't shop at big brand stores, but I recognized the box um, from seeing it there one time. I was there with someone else. Um, but, uh, yes, this Aluma wallet, I used it for a while, and I started to notice that, um, when it's full, this clasp doesn't fully close, and it bulges a bit, and the sides separate, and the hinge on the back starts falling apart, and, uh, it starts getting wobbly, and it just starts falling apart. I had a lot of stuff in it. But, um, I didn't think that was going to hurt it at all, but it pretty much made it fall apart. And also, this inner lining ripped right there, so, um, that wasn't too good. Uh, so, this one, I, I, I really didn't like. I thought it was sort of flimsy, I thought it was a bit snake oilish. Um, really cheap. This one does feel more solid that I have, this blue one. Um, I have all my crap in here. Um, uh, actually I need to put all the rest of the crap in my wallet. I haven't actually transferred everything because I don't carry money to a wallet very often. Um, don't really know why. But also this clasp, the clasp sort of broke and it comes it, it, it comes off really easy now. When there's actually stuff in here, it barely stays together and it would open up in my pocket and stuff. So my opinion of these isn't too great um, on their durability and how long they last. But the idea is amazing, and um, it does hold your stuff very well. Um, you don't get as much, um, it's not as free as a wallet is. Um, like, I mean, you have to put your stuff in these slots. That's all there is in here. So, um, uh, you don't get as much freedom to, for where you're putting your stuff as you do in, like, a buy or trifle wallet. Um, so that's the only downside of this, but it does keep everything really really tight and really safe. These are not waterproof, even though they advertise them as they are. Um, they're really not waterproof at all. Because um, like this one, you can't really see it on the video, but it slides back and forth. The two sides do when the hinge gets loose from just normal use. And um, water can slip in. And it also comes apart really easy. So these I would not trust these to be waterproof at all. Um, this one, this knockoff brand, it's not a Luma wallet, actually feels stronger than this one. I'm squeezing right now, and I'm actually pushing the sides in, so this really isn't that strong. 
So if they updated these, they made a stronger hinge that wasn't like cheap plastic, didn't wobble a lot. You know, the, it has the plastic lining in here. But if they made it a thicker metal uh, and they improve upon it, you know, I think these could be really big. I know this video is a bit late because these have been around for a while, but I just thought I'd give my two cents on it. And I didn't, I, I don't have time tonight to brew up some tea, so to make a review. So I decided to make this video. So yeah, that's pretty much my opinion. Cool idea, good concept. I think that's well, and I think the intentions with this are well. Uh, it, it's a, it's a good thought, but not well executed. They could have executed this a lot better. Um, I think the main reason is just because they wanted to sell them for 9.99 on TV. So they used cheap materials. They used they they built them really cheaply and didn't really work out well. So I'll test out this blue one because I mean I have it. I got it as a present, so I might as well use it, you know. Um, and we'll see how it works. Um, I'll update in the description in a month or so after I've been using it. So. Yeah, thanks. See you later. Expect some more Mate videos soon. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you supporting my channel, checking out my videos. Uh, go, go check them out. Um, let me know if you enjoy them. Let me know if you want to see anything else. Um, uh, see anything else on the channel, you know, any suggestions, comments, you know, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to subscribe if you want to be caught up with my videos. But most of all, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch. Anyways, have a great day. See you later.